This is a WECT Cape Fear Business Break. Hello, I'm Megan Donahue, and today I'm speaking with Dr. Kenneth Myers, board certified allergist from Allergy Partners of Coastal Carolina. Dr. Myers, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. What is asthma, and is it a big deal here in North Carolina? Asthma is a disorder where there's undergoing inflammation or irritation in the airway, and then that leads to constriction, which then leads to symptoms like shortness of breath, cough, and wheeze. The national prevalence of asthma is felt to be about 12%, but believe it or not, in the state of North Carolina, it's much higher, about 16%. One out of 10 children in North Carolina have asthma. Wow. How, do, how is asthma diagnosed? The diagnosis can actually be quite tricky. There's many reasons why people can be short of breath. Is it just conditioning? Is it asthma? Or is it some other type of lung disease? So it's not that simple. There's not a nice little blood test that can be done and says you have asthma or not. It's based on things like symptoms, physical exam, response to asthma medications. We can do some other things like pulmonary function tests, which measure lung volume. And then we actually do something called NIOX, not done any, by anybody else in Wilmington, that measures inflammation in the airway. It's a very simple test, takes 10, 15 uh, seconds. So it's using all this information to make that diagnosis. Okay, now can children outgrow asthma? Well, about 50 to 80% of children present by age five. Mm -hmm. And if you follow these children out into adolescence, about two thirds of patients are of the, will lose their, uh, or no longer have symptoms. So there is some potential, yes. Okay, thanks so much. If you have questions about asthma, go to allergypartners.com. This has been a WECT Business Break.